Yo, what's up? What's up? It's your man Big Ed here with another smoke session. We missing one of our members today. OG, he ain't with us. He's out of town. Ah, uh, hopefully you're having some fun. But it's just me and my brother Ways today. We're gonna have some fun. I got some dumbasses for you. We got some hip hop news. Uh we got a death in the hip hop family. We got the 25 greatest or uh, 25 dopest Rough Rider songs. And of course, we got this week in hip hop history. So let's get to it. Light it up, roll it up, light it up, and put it in the air. It's the smoke session. Six one two. Yo, what's up, Ways? What? Yeah, what's well, good? I thought I muted myself. That looks like the fucking GTA girl house in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's Friday night. It's the smoke session time. Um. Let's go ahead and get it off right, bro. Uh, got me some crown. Crown? Okay. Yeah. I ain't got no hard liquor today. I'm still doing beer, so. All right. Cheers. Cheers. This week in dumbassery news, oh. a success, a suspected gang member is charged in a violent carjacking. Guess how he got caught? Oh, he had a self snitch. That's the new fad. Yeah, he was live streaming. Damn. Yep. So that's dumbass number one. He said, I'm going on Twitch. Oh, shit. And that's here. That's in Minnesota? Yeah. I just I just realized that. That's here. <laughs> Hell. Um, Lenil Frazier is his name. Why does that sound familiar? Because it is he's related to the guy that was killed on um on on Lindale. Yeah, when the car the car uh cop chase was going on in the cop yep. accidentally hit his vehicle. Yep. Oh so I guess God. it's his son, I believe. That's oh yeah, it's his, it's his son. Damn, yeah. part of the highs. So yeah, that makes sense. He's already probably wanted on some shit too. So yeah, they get him you know, they got hit with that Rico charge. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you already know the feds are probably already chomping at. Yep. So dumbass number two. A man split in two after jumping from the roof of the Mandarin, Mandarin Oriental in New York, cra crashing into the glass awning. Ah, damn. I guess that's his way of getting half off. Yeah. <laughs> damn. And for dumbass number three, we're going to go with the guy who was at the gas station pumping gas. He bent down to tie his shoe and somebody took off with his car. Huh? Why are the keys in the car? Okay, out here, I understand it. Rural Minnesota, people leave their fucking windows wide open, keys in the car, car running, back door wide open all damn day. No, nope, that was here in Minneapolis. They're going to oh. take your shit. Oh no, yeah. You wanted that to happen. That was an insurance fraud right there. That's what that is. Yeah, so that's dumbass number three. And actually this week I do have a fourth dumbass. Yeah. Yeah, this one comes from my wife. Good thing you didn't say it is my wife. I was gonna say your <laughs> man was arrested for allegedly having three pounds of fentanyl laced marijuana. Whoa. He need to go ahead and hide up under that prison. Yeah, he he's just looking to kill people. Yeah. Uh, where did? Oh, there it goes. I was like, where did the screen go? It's gone. <laughs> it disappeared on me. So those are our this week's dumbasses. Who are we giving it to, bro? Uh, for me, it's gotta be the dumbass that uh, laced the fucking uh weed with fentanyl. Yeah. I'm going to go with him, too, because I could have ended up with some of that weed, maybe. You Man, know? I'm saying. 
And then all and of a sudden, you're clucking like a chicken and shit down Broadway, buck ass naked, asking man, what the hell the plunger is. That that fentanyl does worse to you than have you clucking like uh, uh, sitting in Debo's pigeon coop. Yeah. That fentanyl is a killer. Man, that's fucked up. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with him too, bro. Hell yeah. He he is definitely a dumbass. Oh yeah, he, he's uh definitely made uh this week's list. So God damn it. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, why did it fucking change screens on me? From <laughs> Mount Pleasant. Is that ain't that in New York, Mount Pleasant? Uh I would say yes if I actually knew, but I don't wanna be the dumbass that says yes. Yeah. Well, this guy's from Mount Pleasant, so wherever Mount Pleasant is, and I don't, he didn't have a name, but I'm just going to call him Fentanyl Dummy. Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker was his name. He had between 1,000 and 2,500 grams of THC. Woo-wee. It's just people with the name Tucker are just generally a dumbass. Yeah. So he is this week's dumbass. Dumbass. Dumbass of the week now on the hip-hop news yeah dougie fresh breaks down why beatboxing is the fifth element of hip-hop now usually there there's you know four elements of hip-hop that people say mm-hmm. there is the mc the rapper the graffiti artist and the break dancer. Oh, well, no, the DJ, the MC, graffiti artist, and a break dancer. Those are usually the four elements of hip hop that people say. Yeah. But there is also the fifth element, which is beatboxing. I can agree with it. And one of the best to ever do it was Dougie Fresh. Yes. I, I can absolutely agree with that. And you know, a lot of beatboxers don't actually get their props in hip hop. Yeah. They have full-blown fucking beatbox competitions like it's the UFC of beatbox. Right. And and they're actually the DJs. They they, they actually, to me, the, you can consider them the DJs, some of the groups. Yeah. So, uh, in sad hip-hop news, Magoo from Timberland and Magoo has passed away at the age of 50. No details on what, what the cause of death has been. Um, his real name is Melvin Barcliffe out of Norfolk, Virginia. He was a protege of Timberland. Uh, and he released the albums Welcome to Our World, Indecent Proposal, Under Construction, and Under Construction Part 2. He's best known for his parts on Up Jumps the Boogie featuring Missy Elliott and Aaliyah. And the song Love to Love You. Mm. Ooh, love to love to love you. That one? Yep. Yep. So the news was reported by Digital Black of R&B Group Player. Yeah. Uh, Raekwon has finally got been granted approval to open a dispensary in New Jersey. Yo. The chef cooking it up. Hell yeah. The chef gonna be in there cooking it up. He, he got his own. He's got a do believe he has his own strain <laughs> out there, uh, but it's gonna be called Hastoria. Damn, I was hoping Cream Team. Thinking what? I was hoping for Cream Team. <laughs> that would have <laughs> been a dope name. <laughs> so, and it's actually a cannabis lounge. Yo, okay. See, I was just talking about this with Kim because we talk about we want to open up our own. Uh, THC friendly bake uh, bakery, right? And I was like, "Shit, let's buy the little place next door or up above. Might as well make that bitch into a fucking lounge where they could go ahead, eat their edible, go upstairs, smoke a little, and play some pool, watch TV, whatever the fuck they want." <laughs> right. <laughs> so it'd be dope. I, I can't wait to see it. Um, uh, Drake. Uh, he, he's been giving things out on stage lately. And the most recent thing he gave out on stage was a Birkin bag. 
just gave it to some random person in the crowd and then told security, you know, come sit with her and, and make sure nobody fucks with her. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I guess that's one way to try to stunt. <laughs> uh, he's also been getting bras thrown up on the stage at him. Man, not those bras, bro. Big bras. Man, the, the, this bra that he had get thrown up there yesterday. Uh-huh. I didn't even know that there was tits that big. What what, what size was that? He it never they never said what size it was. <laughs> but this fucking thing has two humongous cups on it. <laughs> I mean, they it's got to be like a Z. <laughs> Damn. It's got to be like a Z. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the lady who said, who this time who threw it up there said, this is for your dad. <laughs> so now his dad's getting bras thrown up on stage for him. <laughs> Damn. Uh, 50 Cent put out a video the other day. Right. I think we got it for you here. Let's we go did. ahead and check that out quick. All right. If Buster ever tried to film me... <laughs> Hit you with no delay, so what you saying, yo? Silly with that nine milli, what the, the deal, deal, yo? Yeah, I, I, I do his shit better than him. He better not play with me. I will out and perform Buster Rhymes, yo. I, look, man, if they try to say that if you ever thought that the Buster Rhymes was, was better than me, you crazy. You crazy, man. You just looking at this the wrong way. <laughs> what you think, bro? I... Uh, don't agree at all. Yeah, I, I respectfully disagree with you there, 50. Buster's 50. one of my favorites of all time. Really? So, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going with Buster on that one. Yeah, because whether you like to admit it or not, 50, you only got two good albums. <laughs> so, let's keep it real. You, you're you're a mogul. You're doing your thing. Nothing but love and respect for that because you do it. Man, you're showing real hood niggas how it goes. But right. don't get it twisted at thinking you better than Buster. You ain't better than Buster. No. You're just no. more of an entrepreneur than Buster is. Because yeah. when it comes to this hip hop shit, you can't touch Buster. I don't think so either. You know, I, I I like him and all, but yeah. Um now let's let's get down to the 25 dopest Rough Rider songs. All right. I see we're running out of time, so. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I think we did this one before, bro. Rough, oh, Rough Riders? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so this week, we won't have a list for you. Um, let's see, we're running short on time, so I'll just go ahead and do this week in hip-hop history. Hip-hop history. Oh, um, why isn't it pop up? Here we go. The fuck is this journey shit? I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, <laughs> today in hip hop history, Master Killer of the Wu Tang Clan was born August 8th, 1970. Wu Tang? Uh, TOS of Doom Tree. Doom Tree was born August 18th, 1981. Mob Deep released their fourth album, Murder Music, August 17th, 1999. Not their best work, but good work and nonetheless. All right. Pas de Nuos of De La Soul was born August 17th, 1969. Their music is now all across all streaming platforms also. Oh. So that just happened back in March, I believe it was. Okay. Scarface released his second solo album, The World Is Yours, August 17th, 1993. Hmm. Classic. On August 17th, 1995, the end of an era came. The final episode of Yo MTV Raps aired. Damn. Man, I loved Yo MTV Raps. Hey. August 16th, 1994, Organized Confusion released their second album, Stress the Extinction. Yo, didn't Yo MTV Raps? kind of lose steam because of 106 in part 
That and Rap City. Yeah. Well, where did it? What the hell? Why did it go back to the top? Um, August 15th, 1985, Nipsey Hussle was born. Rest in peace, Nipsey. August 14th, 1990, NWA released the EP, 100 Miles and Running. August 14th, 1983, Black Milk was born. Who in the hell is Black Milk? I don't know. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. On August 13th, 1991, Cypress Hill released their self-titled debut album, Cypress Hill. August 12th, 1963. Damn, that nigga is old. Sir Mix-a-Lot was born. Oh, and he likes big butts. Said this, damn. <laughs> He, and he cannot lie. Uh, August twelfth, twenty. Oh, August twelfth, nineteen seventy-two. Del the Funko Funky. Ooh, excuse me. Homo Sapien was born. What? What was the year? Because for me, I heard nineteen twenty-two. No, August twelfth, nineteen seventy-two. Okay, that makes more sense. And on August eleventh, nineteen seventy, Ali Shahid Muhammad of a tribe called Quest was born. Oh, and that is this week in hip hop history. Man, that was a fast show. That was a very, very fast show. But we got our we got our dumbasses out there. We got some hip hop news out there, and we were able to tell you today what was going on this week in hip hop history. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. It's a Friday night, and I got some Madden to play. <laughs> I got some editing to hand out. I got some editing to do, some beer to drink, and probably some sleep to catch up on. Right. Well, we can always do that. Oh man, the Riley's kicking my ass. Yeah, Jamarion started. Jamarion started football this week. That's what's up. So today didn't really go too well. You know, he, he hasn't exercised in a while. So yeah. <laughs> Today didn't go too well. I'm hoping he, he tries to stick with it, you know, so he can get in a little bit better shape and be able to do some more things. Right. So big ups to Jamarion, J Man, aka Bam Bam. Uh love you, buddy. Why is there like 10 generations of Bam Bam? It started with me. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> oh man. Uh Auntie Charlene gave him the nickname Bam Bam because of his feet. That's the one that gave me the motherfucking nickname. <laughs> so, big ups to Auntie Charlene. We love and miss you. Oh, man. But uh, if you like what you see, like what you see in the words of OG, hit the subscribe button, like, share what it is, what the channel is and everything. Make sure you come back and check us out next week when we'll probably have, hopefully have the What Up Those Show, the Smoke and the Smoke Session. Yeah. Same day. Check out the fantasy football show, the showdown. Man. And it's heating up. Oh, yeah. It's going to help you out in your leagues. Two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks. Well, first game is in two weeks, ain't it? Yeah. Man, I've still got like eight drafts left to go. All my drafts are next week, this week, and the following week. I was going to say, you got two drafts tomorrow, don't you? Yep. Yeah. And then I moved the apocalypse back uh, to the 26th okay. next Saturday at noon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. Hell yeah. 32 That's... man league, dynasty league. Basically, yeah. We're all fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a long draft. Yeah. Luckily, it's only a rookie draft. <laughs> so. Cheers to everybody out there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got something to cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, y'all had some fun. Got a little bit of information. Um, New music. I haven't heard any new music coming out lately. Uh, I'm still waiting for that LL album. Um, other than that, I haven't really heard much of anything. So I'm looking forward to see what we got coming out. 
Hip Hop DX, I'm going to visit you after the damn show because I need to see what the fuck is coming out. Right. And uh, make sure, have you checked out the Nas album yet? Magic 2? No, but I will after the show. Yeah, you got to check that out. And Hit Boy and Nas are actually working on their sixth album together already. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Nas done got the bug again, and he's just, he man, he's been blowing through it. <laughs> I hope more of the old school artists take the lead, uh, take his lead and get onto it. But in the meantime, in between time, peace out. What 